Bitcoin is a bank in cyberspace. Monetary energy. Or of the earth. Doubles every year. Listen to my words. Selling doesn't hurt. Selling is absurd. It's like cutting of your wings, but you want to be a bird. Welcome back, guys. Um, just doing a little drive time video. You know my videos are not little, but this one's going to be quite little, probably. Um, I wanted to talk about something because, um, you know, there's a lot of new people joining certain groups and everything. And I want to make people understand um, what SD Media YouTube is about, how it into, how the inception happened, what happened and everything. You know, there's a lot more um, to it, actually, than um, what meets the eye, right? <laughs> okay, let me, uh, let me try and explain all of this so you understand exactly what's going on, right? So the situation is, um, so I've had YouTube channels before. In fact, I've mentioned this on another channel that I've got four other channels, but I'm not active on them. I just put random videos out every now and then. Uh, my, my top channel currently that one I have is all about conspiracy stuff and I get banned every now and then and you know, all sorts of crazy stuff like a guideline, a community guideline warnings and whatnot because uh, there's a lot of gore and everything like this, right? So that's what I did. But I stopped doing that now because I realized that I'm getting banned over and over again and YouTube hates me. <laughs> YouTube hates me, trust me, right? So I said, okay, I've got to take a I, I've got to take it down a notch and I'm not going to do this stuff. And uh, so last year in 2020, um, I met a brother who does YouTube as well and he's doing quite well and he's doing all sorts of other crazy stuff. And this was during the time, I don't know if you know, that there was this um, crazy stuff going on uh, regarding Channel S. Now, those of you who are Bengali, you will know that Channel S, um, there's a, the, the founder and the host is Mahi uh, Jalil, right? Uh, is it Mahi Jalil? Uh, yeah, I think it is. But anyway, that's not the point, right? So he turned around and he uh, said something. Right, he said something on a channel, and he, you know he's he's like one-sided, and it's kind of bullying the people that he brings on to the show. And I didn't like that. I thought every man has a, has as an opinion. Every man should be heard. So we spoke um, uh, together. So me and this other YouTuber, we sat down and we talked about it. And at that time, I don't had SD Media didn't exist, right? And I'll tell you how SD Media come about. So I sat down with him. I said, look, how about we do a collaborative channel? You continue doing your thing. I'll continue doing my thing. But we have one channel where you both do something. But all I'm asking you, money, everything, finance, equipment, all is going to be mine. We're going to do it like a proper studio, right? But when it comes to um, the content, we're going to do it together. We're going to bring people on and we're going to do So it's going to be more of a chat show, more of a podcast side, right? You know, interview people, do all sorts of crazy stuff. There's going to be plenty, trust me, a lot of variety. That's what the channel originally was. In fact, if you go to and use the Wayback Machine, you can actually see exactly what the title of the channel was. So we um, sat down and I labeled it SWAT Dudes. Now, dudes was two guys, not one guy, right? This is what it was. Um, so I went and I bought, uh, so I bought a Canon camera and I said, right, how many cameras do you need? I want to invest whatever cameras, equipment you need. I'll buy the whole lot, full studio equipment. I'll buy every one of them. And I started buying equipment and whatnot. And um, a few months later, like the brother kind of like backed off a little bit. Um, he knows who he is. I mean, I'm going to share this video to him as well. And he kind of backed off and he said, look, uh, I see what you want to do, um, but I can't commit to it. Um, you're too ambitious, right? Um, what you want to do is kind of mental. Um, I don't think I've got the time for it. Um, and I, I like to keep it to myself and whatnot. Okay, fine. This, this is what he wants. This is what he wants. Um, because I was going to use, um, so, you know, like my videos, I do get asked every now and then by random people that I know, mostly businesses and this that, that I know, they ask me, um, you know, to promote their products and this and that. I'm not doing any paid promotions, but I can do it if I want. I mean, of course, if they want to get out there, like some, some guy, he runs an accident management company in the UK. So if he wants to um, um, kind of, um, what do you call this, sponsor my video, then, you know, of course, he's a, he's, he's a nationwide company. He can deliver anywhere, right? Or, you know, his services, he can deliver anywhere. So even if he can get 100 views out of it, it's 100 people that he advertised to. And for a very small amount of money, he can do that. So I said, look, let's monetize on it. Let's do this. Let's make this really, really good. And we can do marketing. And I had the whole structure sorted anyway. But the brother kind of backed off, as I said, like he, he thought, like, okay, this is overwhelming. This is too much, right? I said, fine. So I left the channel. I didn't do anything. I just left it there. I bought a uh, website. I spent like almost a thousand pounds on the website, on the name of the website, the channel, everything was matched. 
Uh, in fact, the Twitter, he actually created that Twitter for SWAT dudes, right? So the original name is SWAT dudes. Now I call it SD Media, which is still related to uh, SWAT dudes, but I've just changed it a little bit. And I'm going to talk about this a little bit more later. Um, well, actually, I'll just say it now. I am planning to rebrand a little bit uh, from SD Media. Um, because I want to do merch, uh, like, you know, merchandise and this and that as well. But uh, listen, it's got nothing to do with you guys. If you guys want to buy the merch and this and that and support the channel, that's entirely up to you. But I like to wear my own branded stuff, right? Um, so I've got like um, caps, hats, and you might have seen a picture of me with Quick on it. Um, there's other companies. Um, there's another one with Restro. There's multiple company brands that I have um, that I actually wear my own gear. So um, this is something that I, I really want to do. And um, so I might just mess around. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. I'm looking at it, what I'm gonna do, but I do like the logo, current logo that I have. Um, and I might just keep that theme going and see where it goes. And you know, soon you might see me with my own branded gears, right? Um, but that's about it. Now, that's how this channel started. It started off uh, by being things. So then one day, um, wait this is like back in I think um, like when when the Bitcoin started pumping right and everyone knows I do Bitcoin stuff and I've got plenty of videos um, from before where I talked about Bitcoin in my other channels right and but I didn't want to mix up because the other channels got a lot of conspiracy stuff and it, it could be it's, it's bound to be banned at some point and it does get strikes every now and then right I get so many community strikes uh, so now I've stopped and I, I said look I'm gonna put all my energy so, you know, you take your energy. I took all my energy and I said, I'm going to put it into SD Media or what the SWAT dudes at the time, right? And I said, I'm going to put it all in there. I'm going to connect everything up and hopefully try and help people that way because I can't be answering phone calls, right? Every single day, like 10, 15 phone calls and speaking to people one to one uh, and people panicking and, you know, shitting their pants literally. Excuse my language, but that's what it is, right? By the way, this channel is not for babies or any children. So, if you're underage, please please go find something else um, so this is a pure adult rated channel right now so we obviously you know I created this and um, and I mentioned it on the first video in fact the first video was in Bengali and I also said it in Hindi as well I think and I said it in English I said brothers and sisters if this is the case by demand I can't do this over the phone so it was a limited number of people who were phoning me and my channel only had like I think three or four subscribers right and I said, look, I'm gonna, I don't care about the subscribers. It's got nothing to do with that. Any information I've got, I'm going to do it in one place. I can't be repeating myself. Because the funny thing was, that day, I think it was a Sunday or a Monday, my phone exploded. I switched my phone off. And everybody that called me, right, I was on the phone for like an hour with each person literally repeating myself. And I'll tell you, I hate repeating myself. I hate repeating myself. I was constantly repeating the same thing over and over again, right? Now I find it really funny. At that time, I was angry. I was like, what the hell's wrong with you people? Everybody's calling me. Now, what did you do? Why didn't you go into crypto when I told you to, right? And then you did go in and we have a slight dip and you all start panicking and shitting your pants. Bro, it's just the beginning. Get ready. It's about to start. So that's how SD Media came about. And I started doing charts. My first few charts, you probably realize I've done it on my mobile phone and whatnot. And I was just updating people regularly. I'm like, okay, this is what's going on, this is what's going on, this is what's going on. That's all I've been doing. Now, what triggered me to make this video? And I'll tell you what triggered me to make this video. So today, somebody joined, like a few hours ago, somebody joined a group. Um, clearly, they got the link from somewhere, maybe someone they know. And they came and they said something for me, I think it was quite important. They sent a message and said, because they're seeing the group chat and we're all chatting and everyone's chatting and having a bit of fun and laugh. They came in and they're like, so far I haven't seen any piece of advice here. Now, I want to make something clear here um, for anybody who's watching this channel. What advice do you want? Am I your financial advisor? Do you pay me for it? No, you don't. This channel is free. Free for everybody. It's use it for education, use it for entertainment, or use it for your financial stuff, but I don't do financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Look in the description. I'm not your financial advisor, right? Everything here should be treated as education or entertainment purely, nothing else, right? You know, I even do some parody stuff as well, like where I put my face on stuff and have a bit of fun, right? The point is, is people 
people are seeking advice. That, that's not what we do. That's not what I do. I'm not here to scam you out of your money. I can tell you, I'll tell you what, bro, come to my private channel, right? Pay me XYZ amount of BTC, BTC and I'll give you one-to-one -one advice. I'll give you one-to-one -one advice and you pay me XYZ and guess what? It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. If you go back to all the videos I've made, right? I've mentioned this over and over again. During a bull run, if somebody turns around and says, oh, we're gonna go to this price, oh, exactly as predicted, well, that's easy because we're in a bloody bull run. Tell me the same thing in a bear market. Tell me when the market is going down. That's the type of thing you should be looking at, right? So when I do my stuff, I don't say if and, you know, if it goes that way, if it goes this way. I don't, if you want, I'll name it. I'll name you some channels. I'll tell you what. Go to, go and watch Carl from the Moon. Go and watch um, um, MM Crypto. Go and watch Crypto Banter. Um, go and watch, there's a few others, right? Go and watch all of them. There's, you know, go and watch all of them. That's where you need to be because they're going to pump coins, hype coins after they've bought it. After they bought it, that's what you. If I haven't bought it, I already tell you I haven't bought it. If it's on the chat and someone says mentions a coin, right? And I've got 450 coins. If someone mentions a coin, I'll be like, all right, yeah, I've already got it. It hasn't done anything. I'm holding it for three years, four years. I'm being honest about it. I'm not pumping it now. That's what I'm not. I'm not pumping it now. If that's not advice for you, what is? I tell you that if the coin you haven't already got the coin, don't FOMO in. If that's not good advice, what is? I tell you to ignore the FUD and all the news around you, surrounding you, all the bullshit that comes out. If that's not advice, what is? I tell you we're gonna go to this price, huddle. If that's not advice, what is? Do you want me to turn around and say, oh, we're gonna have a breakout, put a million pounds in, boom, and then you lose money. Is that your reward? Do you want me to give you shill all sorts of coins and this and that and say, well, this coin's gonna pump today, that coin's gonna pump today, this coin's gonna pump today. Do you want me to do that? Because I can. There are coins, there are, that's what I said. All the ones that I've mentioned, that's what they do. That's what they do. They'll give you names of coins that you can't even dream of getting or accessing. They've already got it. They get it at pennies and then they pump it to you. For example, recently, Definity, right? Crypto Banter, they mentioned Definity. They invested in Definity and they mentioned it. And now Definity, when they mentioned it was at $200. Well, guess what? If they bought it at a dollar and you entered at $200, you just gave them 200%. Are you so thick? You don't understand. This is what I don't do. I'm not gonna shill something that not. Okay, recently I did shill something. I shilled Shiba. But why did I do that? Because I, uh, number one, I did it after I told everybody. All right, number one. Number two, there's certain metrics. And I said, that's the reason why I'm going in. All right, other than that, I'm still double my money. From the moment I told people, I'm still double my money. Right? I've got witnesses who watched me do it, who saw me do it, who saw me all day, hours before I bought it, I mentioned it, I told them, I told everybody, of course I want to tell my premium channels first, and then I told, uh, told my other channels, right? You know, my premium contacts, I'm going to tell them first, right? But the point is, is, this is the thing, you want me to give you advice? Well, I'm not giving it for free, right? You're not gonna get it on a crypto YouTube channel uh, group, right? Where people come just for a little bit of a banter, for, for some advice or ask me questions and this and that, where I am available. I'm trying to help people, right? But if you're gonna join today and say, well, I don't see any advice. Well, go back six months. Sadly, go back six months, go back seven months, eight months. Watch the 200 videos, then you tell me, right? So this is the kind of stuff that really, really annoys me. You get some guy popping in from nowhere, don't know who the hell he is, I don't really care. Right, and this is the thing I don't judge, I don't judge, I don't care who you are, where you come from. I'm there for everybody. You are all equal to me, you are all equal to me. I'm putting it on a video publicly, you're all equal to me. All right, I want to help everybody get the noise out of the thing. Right, no FUD, no FOMO, nothing. Stay calm, be a good trader. Right, buy the right coins, do the right thing. That's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you advice and tell you what the market is doing. I'm not going to personally give you advice on what to buy, what not to buy. If that's what you're looking for, then you're in the wrong place, all right? And if that's what you're looking for, maybe you should contact me privately and then you start paying me in BTC and then I'll talk about it to you. You want that advice? I'll give you that. That's not an issue, right? Right? And I can tell you this, yeah, even that advice is pure scam. 
pure scam. Everything is a scam. Anybody who's gonna be charging you money to give you free advice, the same advice, is gonna be a scam, right? When I say I do it for you, right? You know, I give you advice. I don't give advice. I do it for people. I trade for people. That's a different thing. That's why I charge them. I don't charge them to give them advice. My advice is free for the world, right? I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on this. I'm, obviously, I'm not as active. Maybe on Twitter, I'm quite active. You know, there's like 2,000 tweets or something like this, right? But the point is, is I'm doing my best to guide people and get people to see the bigger picture, right? If that's not what you're looking for, you're looking for something else, do one of two things. Either tell me what you're looking for and I can tell you if that's possible, if that's what I can provide to you. If not, then you're in the wrong place. You're in the wrong place. So this one's for you. I'm not gonna name anybody, uh, right? But you gotta understand, where did SD Media come from? Where did SWAT dudes come from? Who, where did I even come from? It all started from me trying to, you know, be, uh, open up a, as a YouTube as a business with a brother where I had my money, right, and everything ready to go in and basically invest and do whatnot, marketing, equipment, everything, studio, you name it. I'll put my money down and do, I'll put my money where my mouth is, right? The brother knows, he's gonna see this, he knows. I'll put my money down where my mouth is. I was gonna do this, right? And then I made it into a crypto later on with the, by the, from the demand. And that's where this channel's become a crypto channel. Over time, obviously I've changed many things, right? But that's what it is. What did I do with the money that I was gonna invest on him? Guess what? I took it and I bought two pizza places. One failed, one succeeded. I've actually sold the, the second one, right? Actually the first one, I sold the first one. The second one I shut down, right? And um, I took my money out, I took my initial out. I said, done, I'm out, right? This is what it is, a lot of people, I don't know, it just annoys me, right? You get these guys, you know, fiat guys, really, really annoying me. They come in and, you know, even on Twitter, I'm not talking about generally on the chat or anything. On Twitter, you get all these guys, who are like, oh, you know, stock market is gonna crash, where you're gonna go, everyone's gonna go to fiat. Of course they're gonna go to fiat, that's fine, not a problem. But most are already coming into crypto. I mean, do you not see around you? Does nobody see this one fact? What was Ethereum last year? What was Bitcoin last year? What, what was the price of one? Let, I'm not trying to shill anything. I don't, listen, I can turn around and say Bitcoin's gonna be a trillion dollars. Per coin, per coin. Who gives a damn, right? I could be just a madman talking bullshit, right? I could be a Bitcoin max, maximalist, basically just trying to shill Bitcoin because I'm invested in it, you know. But the point is, is I don't need to tell you. You do your maths. What was the price last year? If you are oblivious to that, I don't know what planet you live in. If you don't have any idea what Bitcoin was 12 years ago, I don't know what planet you're in. I don't know what kind of a zone you live in, right? What kind of a bubble you're in, right? Good luck with your cash, right? That's what I say to people, right? And then on top of that, look at the market cap. 2017, the highest we had for the whole market cap was 800 billion. Then we crashed and we came down to, I think it was uh, around 200 billion or something like this, or something less than that, right? We came down. Currently we're sitting at 2.5 trillion. Well, who do you think's put that? You, your uncle, your mama, your grandma? What the hell? Uh, me? No. Where do you think the 2.5 trillion dollars come in? And this is for you Twitter idiots, right? Where do you think the 2.5 trillion dollars come in? I'll tell you what, the same people in Wall Street, right? that play around with billions and billions of dollars in stocks are the same people scaling into crypto because they see the very same thing I saw back in 2015. They see that you can make a lot more money on the swings, right? They see that basically the OTC market is always ready to buy the dip. You don't see this. When you look on chain and you see the OTC market, you will realize exchanges have millions and billions of dollars, billions of dollars sitting there. And then the coincidence is one Bitcoin dips, exact same amount goes in to buy the dip, right? OTC, by the way, they don't even affect the market. Even when they buy the dip or, you know, buy it on the top, it doesn't matter when they buy it on OTC, right? Over the counter, it doesn't trigger. The reason a lot of people are confused, it doesn't trigger. Why doesn't it trigger? Well, I'll tell you why it doesn't trigger. It's basically wallet to wallet transfer. You take the cash over the counter and you do a wallet to wallet transfer. It doesn't register as a buy or a sell, 
right? That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. So a lot of you guys, I don't know where, what planet, or what zone you guys come from, right? Uh, but you, you know what? I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that. All right? I'm gonna fix that. If you continue to watch this, actually, if you like the video so far, smash the like button, right? That's what you gotta do. Smash the like, comment below. Tell me if you agree or disagree, right? But I'll tell you what, I'm gonna fix that. If you're gonna watch this channel, right? I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> I'm joking, right? But the point is, look, I, I'm not going to give you bullshit. That's not going to happen here. There's not going to be any bullshit here. It's going to be hardcore facts, right? And these are the facts that I just gave you. Look at the price of a Bitcoin 12 years ago. Look at the price of a Bitcoin six months ago. Forget 12 years. That's too far. Some of you probably won't be born there or probably, you know, babies and whatever, right? I know there are some young guys there. But the point is, right? Six months ago, what was a Bitcoin? What was the price of a Bitcoin, right? And what's the price of a Bitcoin now? It's three times the value. Just in case you didn't know, it's three times the value. Us sitting at 56 or 58 or even 60 around that, it's three times. So if we drop 30%, who cares? Uh, of course you care, because you probably just entered now, so I can understand, and that's what I'm gonna fix, right? <laughs> that's what I'm gonna fix, right? So I'll make you understand what BTC is, right? I'll make you understand what crypto is in total, right? I'll make you understand what Ethereum is, right? And if you still don't understand what it is, then there's a, uh, uh, trust me, you know, it will take a time, I'll beat it out of you, I'll definitely basically put it into your head and you'll understand what it is. You know, all the altcoins, you know, I'll make sure I under, I make you understand. And if you don't, then do the logic and see the logic and reason. And I'll tell you, they're all scam. Every one of them is a scam. Boy. They all want your crypto. You know, I say this over and over again. Why? Because that's what the facts is. Right? Between yesterday, so day before yesterday, we had 9,600 coins in the total market cap. Yesterday, we had 9,700 in the total market cap. Today, we have 9,745. Do you know what that means? 45 brand new scam coins have come out to take your crypto. To take your crypto, right? That's what I'm giving you. That's the advice I'm giving you. If you're not aware of that, if you don't understand that, I don't know. I don't know. God save you. <laughs> God save you. So, I'm not angry. Listen, I'm not angry. I'm just trying to trying to get it through your head, right? Get it through your head. I know, listen, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. You know, I've mentioned this on many other videos as well, right? And it's not a conspiracy or anything. It's a fact, right? I'll tell you this. From the time when you're born, number one, you are owned by the state. State meaning your country, your government, whatever. When you're born and you get a birth certificate, that's a stamp of approval. You belong to them until a certain time. So in UK, your birth certificate um, actually, you know, stamped up to the age of 18 or 16 or something like this. The state pays for your welfare. That's known as child benefit. Doesn't matter. You could, your family could be earning a billion dollars, a billion pounds. You're still going to get this minimum amount towards your childcare cost, regardless. You know why they're paying that? Because they own you. Okay, you go to nursery. No problem right from that point onwards they start brainwashing you to be obedient right fine you're obedient we all should be obedient right you go to um, secondary school they teach you a little bit more try and brainwash you even more and then they take you through the full education system to completely brainwash you and understand that obedience rules power you know uh, power of authority you know seniority you know chain of command all of those is thing so let me give you a good example of that chain of command right boris johnson our prime minister comes on the telly right a few days back i think it was like monday or something comes on the telly and does this covid19 announcement right and he says um we're gonna take the lift uh, we're gonna lift the lockdown from the next week 17th and this and that which is fine so it still hasn't said anything but i'll tell you the chain of command he says you are now allowed to hug. This is how far they've taken the chain of command. When they said you're not allowed to meet and hug and do this and that, you did that. Half of you did that at least, right? So you're brainwashed. You've got some guy sitting in some flat, some flat, it's not even a house, right? Some flat in, in the middle of central London telling you 
telling you that basically, you know, you can't meet, greet, hug to a certain extent. What was his name? Uh, I forgot his name. Um, one of those idiots, one of those idiots. I forgot his name. Uh, it turns around, he says you can't even have make love or have sex with your partner. He's not doing it, right? What was his name? Uh, Matt Hancock. Matt Hancock. He comes on telly. He's oh, I haven't had sex with anybody. What the fuck? Excuse my language, but what the hell? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? This is this is how they brainwash you. This is how they brainwash you, right? That's what they did. So they tell you you can't hug and you don't hug. They tell you stand two meters away and everyone's acting like as if somebody's infected, right? Acting like it's the bloody zombie world or something. Seriously, this is this is the life you want. This is what you want. This is how you're programmed. Do you not understand? Right? And they have the audacity to come on telly, national telly, and tell you you are now allowed to hug. What the fuck? I think I've proved my point how far your brains are washed, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, open your minds, people. Open your minds. Try and see what's going on, right? The biggest conspiracy is the conspiracy to control you. And everyone allows it. And there's nothing wrong with it. You're fine. Look, I've got children. They go to school, uni, right? But what do I say to them? Learn. You need to learn. Learn the system. Learn the system. But don't take it all in your head. Think outside the box. And you'll see more. That's what I teach them, right? So that's what it is. It's like, look, education system is, is absolutely fine. But ultimately, you know, what I found, it, it locks you. You're programmed to be uh, the slave of society. You're programmed um, to, to, to follow the chain of command, right? You know, it do this, do that. And this is society. This becomes society. What the hell? Why can't I be the black sheep? And I am, by the way. I'm the black sheep. Why can't I, you know, uh, go against the grain? Well, I am. And I did. I'm not doing what you're doing. I don't preach what you preach. I don't look at anything the same way as you do, right? You know, some people have called it, they said, it's like a cult. Well, do you know what? Again, name calling. If someone has a thought, conspiracy, if some people start understanding the cults, right, cults, you know, it's always like this, right? It's always like this. You always get name calling for people who think out of the box. Of course there are cults out there, but what is a cult? What is a cult? Religion is a cult, right? Your democracy is a cult. You know, I'm a conservative, I'm a late. You're a cult. You're a cult. So what if I believe in Bitcoin? I'm a Bitcoin cult. And what? That's what I'm doing. It's harmless. At least I'm not causing harm, war, disease, and all sorts of other nonsense and conspiracy like most of these people. At least I'm doing none of that. Every crypto Bitcoin maximalist is a peace lover. We hate wars, right? We hate wars, right? That's what we are. We're libertarians, right? We hate all of these nonsense. We're not into politics. We hate this democracy, right? Because this is not democracy. It is, all right? Check this out. It's not democracy. It's not capitalism. Do you know what it is? It's communism undercover. That's what it is. Anyway, I'm not going to say anymore because I know this video might get banned. Right? YouTube does that all the time. Um, they don't like it when I when I when I go deep, right? So, bye, guys. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like, subscribe, share, and let me know in the comments what you think. Right? You know, listen. I'm giving you unfiltered, no nonsense. This is the fact. If this is not advice, what is? Adios, amigos.